big time. Now it's like I wake up and I'm just thankful. I'm like more focused on where I came from to where I am today. So I'm always looking at those pictures. I'm always sharing them with others. And I think the biggest part of the gratitude that oozes from out of my soul right now is that it is inspiring so many people. It inspires me. I mean, when I'm 50, I hope to still be, you know, training just as hard and maybe still competing, you know, just like her. She has watched her body transform. You know, her and I talk a lot. She gets up sometimes in the morning and she cries, like looking at her body. She just cannot believe how much she's changed, which really gets you choked up just knowing she's put that time in. Um, so it's awesome. I was a big girl, I was unhealthy, and um, again, when my uncle passed away, it was one of the things I wanted to be light and, and show people that changing your lifestyle can really help you tomorrow, and it helps the generations to come, and it inspires people and all those types of things. So I've watched a lot of that transformation, and I'm gonna tell you, it's happened right before my eyes, and when you watch somebody with that type of willpower put that type of work in, sometimes working out three times a day, that is inspirational. I'm in the gym every day. There absolutely are no days off. Um, most days I work out at least twice, and there are probably three or four days a week that I work out three times a day. We have meal plans, I have to stick to my meal plans, my workout plans. She had a goal to lose weight and tighten up and eventually get on stage and do a show, and she has worked very diligently to get to that point. It's called the Iron Man. Um, it's going to be held at Flushing High School on August 24th. I did tell you about my uncle who passed away, and um, and he was like the picture of health. And like I said, he had a he had a blood disorder, and um, he always challenged himself. And he always challenged us nieces and nephews, like, be your best self, you know. And so when I started the crimp, it was in his memory. And I just kept that going. And so this, this challenge is in his memory. So <laughs> August 24th, I'm going to be a ball of nerves. But it's not going to be the way I'm not anticipating and being nervous because I'm there and it's the big stage. But because I'm there and I'm representing him. And, um, and I can hear him saying, you know, you got this piece. So yeah, it's, it's gonna mean a lot. And to have my family there and, and friends and those that can attend, it's, yeah, it's gonna be great.